You're watching Hooked on Utah on KUTV, powered by Ford. We are out on a really special hunt. We've got a great young man, Dallin Hunsaker. Dude, I'm so ready for this. He's been uh, given the opportunity to come out here in western Utah and hunt on some, uh, some ground out here and possibly take a great buck. As the sun comes up, we're gonna have Dallin in a position to take his very first mule deer. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. Ready to go out and hunt, shoot a big old four point. Get ready. We're tickled, man. Yeah, I'm missing school today to come out here. It's 22 degrees when Dallin showed up and uh, it's starting to warm up. We're going to get him on a bike, get him down there, get him in the field, and get him on the buck of a lifetime. Gonna go see if we can't get down a big old buck. Yeah, I'm hoping we do the first shot this morning so I can go home. Rode into my family. <laughs> what are you wanting? A big old four point. All right, give me knuckles. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. And all I can tell you is his eyes are dancing. Alan's eyes are dancing. He's stoked, so we're stoked, man. That's what it's about. We don't need to force anything. We don't need to get wound up. We just want to be safe and simple. He's going up there over the top of that ridge. A couple of years ago we went up to Vernal and I didn't get a deer up there. So I'm hoping I get a deer here. When Down was born, he was born uh, three three months premature. He was only two pounds when he was born. Um, I have seizural palsy. It's like a disease kind of. My wife had gotten into labor early and Down was starting to die with, within the womb, so they had to do a rush C-section to get Down out. I had to have plates put into my legs. I had to have screws put in to the bottom, like at my feet. Down was, was five years old before he was able to even walk and took about eight surgeries to get to that point. 25. He's had his femurs cut in half, uh, legs rotated out, plated back together. He's got screws in his ankles, screws in his toes, pins in him. Um, he's got a shunt. He's had all sorts of procedures done just so he can walk and live the best life that he can live. Down has that strut to him. You recognize this down from walking from uh, far off and you can tell it's him coming. They'd started up on the top and they moved back down. We came around the corner and they stood up. They're not afraid, they're not worried about us. They just slowly moseyed over the hill. They're gonna drop down into what looks like some big Russian olive trees and a little draw. We're gonna let them bed down a little bit and we're gonna work around and see if we can't get Dallin on and set up. The trick is just making sure with his mobility we can get him in position on the shooting sticks for a nice safe shot on what is a beautiful buck. Somewhere in that 25 to 28 inch wide buck. He's a big boy. So then the question is can Dallin keep control of his emotions, that youthful energy? I remember looking through the scope at my first spike buck when I was 16, shaking like a leaf, you know, fogging the scope up. So I'm hoping that, hoping you don't see all of that going on. There's a four point right there. Take a look, there's a four point. Get the strip damage off in there. Yeah. That's a good four point. That's keeper down. Yeah. That big buck is feeding out across these fields, trying to get Dallin in close enough for a shot. And it's early morning, got plenty of time. We just want to see if this deer's up here. We saw him from a few hundred yards away. Bingo right there, I see it. Take a look. 
Yeah, I say what's coming about this afternoon about 3.30. Right on, I like it. It's a good plan. Booked on Utah is proudly presented by Mountain America Credit Union. Your home, your business, your life. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. Interstate batteries, outrageously dependable. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Browning firearms and outdoor gear, the best there is. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. For the past 28 years, I've been a proud member of Mountain America Credit Union. Stop by the new Payson branch and see how you can receive a $100 bonus with any Mountain America checking account. Mountain America, for your home, your business, your life. Need a better battery? Get an interstate battery. Outrageously dependable. Should have had an interstate. Okay, if you're one of those round the clock, we never close, 24 7 types who doesn't get paid until the job gets done, the last thing you need is a truck that doesn't have the stones to bring home the Benjamins. No problem. Introducing the all new 2011 Super Duty. Thanks to its all new Ford built Power Stroke diesel, you get it all. The most horsepower, the most torque, the most payload, the most towing, and the best fuel economy. It's payday. The all new Super Duty. Low auto rate ahead. As low as 2.74% APR. Only at Mountain America. Apply for your 2.74 auto loan today at your nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. The thing that's unique about Vernon is basically the people and just everything about it. It's simple, it's quiet. You got a lot of good people. You've got, particularly with hunting, you know, with the situation that we're in, you've got people that are willing to just bend over backwards to take a young kid out and let them hunt their property. They don't typically let a lot of people just come in and hunt. And it's special. Uh, people care. Thanks for letting us hunt on your property. You're welcome. Glad to have you do it. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Best unit in the state. How come, how come? No, you should say there's no deer in Vernon. <laughs> no deer in they, Vernon. they tell me there's no deer in Vernon, but they're wrong. Nothing but, uh, but big bucks. I'm familiar with Vernon District, and uh, and so when I heard Down's opportunity, I was very, very excited for him to have that opportunity to be able to come out here and uh, hopefully get him a, a deer of his choice. pretty happy with him. He's been practicing hard. He's been going out west, practicing on a few different guns. And he's got a pretty good uh, tight pattern going. We, we talked about a few things again this morning about squeezing the trigger slow and not being jerky. Yeah, I've been practicing a bunch. I went out west with my scouts and shot so I can get practicing for the hunt. A big, a whole group of deer. Big deer, whole group of big deer up through that whole, down through that whole valley right there. Why don't we shoot them? They didn't have antlers. I met Dallin at a convenience store a couple years ago. Um, I'm standing there and someone slugged me in the back and I turned around thinking, who in the world? Here stands this little kid that can't hardly stand up and said, what are you doing, man? God, this means I have to go to school tomorrow if I, if I get one today. We just kind of hit it off, and he's been in my thoughts ever since then. We 
we just went and pushed through the sagebrush and stuff and there was nothing. So we're gonna move on over to the small land to see what there is. I found something. The score, deer three, we're zero. Dallin's excited. We went and pushed a little patch of brush. Nothing come out. We build a blind, sneak back in there in the afternoon and see if uh, the Dalster can put it the smack down on one. You gonna do it, bud? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's where we're at. Scouted out a pretty nice buck this morning. We hope to uh, now get that buck coming in tonight to eat and see if we can't score him a nice four by five or something. This day has been has been one of my top ten days by far. To be out here at the Vernon unit, surrounded by wonderful people, wonderful generous people, and and to be with with two of my sons. Uh, it's pretty neat that Down invited us to come out and spend the day with him. You know, Rex, people love to shoot quality pictures and quality video. Now, I carry a big camera, a DSLR, with me everywhere I go. It's in my backpack. But a lot of people are concerned about weight, but they still want to have quality. So for a camera this small to have an 18x optical zoom, um, does full HD video from Nikon, it is a great great all-purpose camera, something that can fit in your pocket or put it in your backpack. We think the Coolpix S9100 is a great alternative for the, the outdoor enthusiast. You just think Coolpix 9100, Nikon, and Allen's Camera. Come into one of their many locations. Check them out at allenscamera.net. You might even see Rex in the store, and he'll make you a great deal if you tell him you saw this on Hooked on Utah. Yeah, we let him go into the brush. We didn't want to push him, and we're just going to wait him out. And what he's been doing is sliding into the bottom corner of that field, and we're hoping, we're anticipating that he'll slide back in there and give Dallin a good chance at him. We don't want to force it. We want it to be a good experience. We want it to be very simple and safe for him. Just what you said, Rich. He'll run right down that road. For the second verse, hope I get a deer to the first shot. He wants to come this way. Hold still, hold still, don't move. We're sticking out like sore thumbs. I put us in a terrible spot, but they, if they'll pay attention to everybody else, they're not staring at us, so if we just hold tight. He's right in that tall yellow grass. He's looking right at us. If they see us, we the buck. Well, we went down there and we got set up on our buck. Everything seemed to be working out. And then immediately it quit working out for us, so we're coming back up here. That buck down there is a smart buck. He's a beautiful buck, but he's wound up and he's moved right over closer to town. It's not safe. starting to rut pretty good kind of the pre-rut we've already seen three or four bucks right here from where we're at we're just gonna work up this canyon slow and low and easy and get him a good solid safe shot see if this magical hunt can all come together for the little guy he's earned it he's hiked all over I'd say he's probably hiked better than a mile already traipsed out through the fields and through the brush He's a trooper, man. We're going to go up here and see if one of these big old bucks will hold still for him. See if we can get it done. It holds a lot of deer. I mean, they just, they just camp in here. Especially right now, this time. How many have we seen up here already? About six or seven? About six or seven. Yeah. Driven by three and passed on. Just stunning here in western Utah. If you're not hooked on Utah, you're not breathing. I'm ready to shoot that buck. Why don't we go?
Let's watch him a minute. We've spotted a group of good bucks. We're just gonna pass on them. They're quality. They're down in a deep hole. It's probably not the best option for uh, Dallin with cerebral palsy, get him down in there. So we're on our way to a new spot. I'm trying to get in position, man. We're gonna slide up here. We got a nice little buck bedded. Get a hook up around here. He, he laid back down. Didn't feel like we could get a good shot on him. So we're working back up around here to where we can get level with him and see if we can put one in on him. We've got a great little buck spotted over here. He's about 200 and some change away yards. And uh, right now we're just trying to help Dallin get set up in the most comfortable way possible. Again, Dallin's got some special needs and we want to make sure that he has the best opportunity to take this buck. Rich has worked really hard and so have a bunch of people to find the quality buck. I mean, we had him on some big bucks. Beautiful deer. Down in the valley and they just didn't cooperate. Cross your fingers. Okay, hey, you. I'm talking to you. Cross your fingers. Okay, why don't you go slow? Put your thumb on top. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Put your thumb on top. Don't pull the trigger till I tell you. Don't jerk it. Just squeeze it. When he says. Okay. Ready? Oh. Ooh, that was so close. That was so close. Okay, get on in here. I put my things, my um, beanie on. No, hang on, Dad. We're we're on him. Come up here. Get close. How soft? Get in there. Dad. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Get your hand right up there, just don't squeeze. Get your hand in there, just don't squeeze. Put your thumb over. Don't squeeze. Put a high shoulder, Tim. Okay, go. I didn't need it. I got it. Just a little bit Where's he at? He's, He's walking to the, to the right. right. He's over to the right. Ah. I gotta get him in my hand. You see the does running away from him? There he is. Okay, Dale. Every once in a while, innovative products come along for the outdoors, and one that we've come across that we're very proud to put our name with is Goal Zero. You know, they make a full line of solar products, lightweight, packable, so that you can have power in the outdoors. Charges your equipment out in the backcountry. It's very small, it's light, it folds up, gives you the confidence in the backcountry that you'll always have power for your products that you're using for travel, GPS, communication, cell phone, get one of these. Most gun makers just add a new feature to improve performance. Every component of the Browning X-Bolt works together to deliver the most crucial feature, total accuracy. The Browning X-Bolt, an all new rifle system designed for total accuracy. If you love hunting and fishing as much as I do and you're sitting back there thinking, how can I own a piece of Utah? I want you to go to utahsportsmanproperties.com. We're right here at the base of the Uinta Mountains. We've got ice cold springs running into these beautiful ponds. They're loaded with steelhead, German brown trout, smallmouth bass. The rich heritage from the Spanish gold mines to the Uinta Mountains right here. This is your dream piece of property. utahsportsmanproperties.com, check it out. Man, these are beautiful. I love Smith & Edwards, let me tell you why. I love the Western Department at Smith & Edwards. I like shopping for pink here at the Country Boy Store. They have an awesome selection of boots. They've got tons and tons of snacks. They have guns and ammo galore. But the best thing is that my dad works here. Smith & Edwards, we've got everything you want if we can find it. Time for the Hooked on Utah Snapshot of the Week. Perry Knight caught this eye-popping trout on the Ham's Fork River. After a couple of pictures, a hug and a kiss goodbye, Perry released this bruiser back into the river to be caught again by somebody else. Kyle Rolett was fortunate to draw a dedicated hunter's limited entry tag for the book clips this fall. After lots of driving and tons of scouting, Kyle found what he was looking for. 13-year-old Caden Christensen drew a youth any bull tag this year. Caden and his dad spotted the bull they wanted, put on a beautiful stock, and when the time came, Caden made the shot count. 
16 year old Tyler Edwards took this amazing 28 inch wide 3x3 three three on the Ponsagant unit this fall. Tyler made a beautiful 240 yard shot to boot. 13 year old Ben Gallerum of Cedar City, Utah took his very first big game animal this fall. And what a dandy it is, a 26 inch wide 4x4. Four four. Look at the smile on Ben's face. Well congratulations Ben, you're this week's snapshot of the week winner. You've just won a prize from one of our sponsors. Congratulations to Jenny Jones. Jenny, you're our Hooked on Utah Viewer's Choice winner. You've just won a Camp Chef Smoker Vault. Hey, and thank you to everybody that voted. I've seen a lot of deer hit the ground, and my adrenaline's pumping just as hard right now as it ever has on any of them. That sounded like it did. One more, one more, one more. Dead. You got him good. Yeah! 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 Y